Warning, the following video is not intended as a tutorial. Do not attempt to imitate the actions shown in this video, as doing so may lead to injury, warranties being voided, and damaged property. So with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. Hello, today I'm going to be fitting this 68 watt hour battery in my Dell G515 SE 5505 laptop. The battery from the factory is a 51 watt hour battery and I've already taken a benchmark for how long the installed battery lasts and I will, once I've fitted this I will run another benchmark for this so that we can compare the performance before and after the upgrade. If you've seen my previous videos you already know how to remove the base of this laptop. If not then what you need to do is you need to re remove these six screws here and loosen these four captive screws along the back. So let's get on with it. I forgot to say, after loosening and removing the screws, run a tool such as a spudger, or in my case a plectrum, along the edges to remove the clips, or loosen the clips rather, and then the base should just lift off without any resistance. And you can put that to one side. First thing you need to do whenever working inside the laptop is disconnect the battery, which is done by pulling this tab gently here. I will need to reuse this cable later when I install the new battery. So we need to unscrew the battery. There's only two screws holding the existing battery in. As you can see, they were here and here. Now we need to remove this cable because we need to reuse this just like that, just pulls out. And now we need one additional screw for the new battery, which goes here, as you can see. And let me give you a better look of that. So you've got three screws on the new battery. If you've not got the 5505 laptop uh, and you've got one of the other variants that uses this same shell, you can't upgrade the battery to a 68 watt hour if you've got a two and a half inch drive because that goes here but on the 5505 you can't install a two and a half inch drive anyway. Connect the cable that you removed from the old battery to the new battery. Some road rage going on outside. Now there is something here that I didn't anticipate and that is that the screw holes don't align in the same place to two different batteries. Now, that wouldn't be an issue, except for this standoff here, which this new battery doesn't use, but it pokes into the bottom of this new battery. I've tried removing it, but it seems to be either very, very well screwed in or perhaps riveted in. And looking at where the standoff should be for this one, there doesn't appear to be any thread for it. With this new battery, we need to remove this screw from the heatsink. I'd got totally frustrated with it by this point, and I ended up taking a pair of pliers to the standoff and literally ripping it out of the base plate. Honestly, I can't think of another way that this could have been done, but I'm no expert. This most likely will have avoided any warranty that the uh, laptop had. While pulling the standoff out, I also broke the two plastic rivets holding this part of the base plate in. But what's more concerning is it also sent bits of metal flying around the place. So I had to make sure that I retrieved all of these before I turned the laptop back on later. Else risk creating a short in the laptop, which would have been very bad news. Ooh, that's a good thing I gave that a shake. Good thing I gave that a shake. I'm fairly confident that all the bits of metal have come out of there. I've just screwed the standoff into the bottom here. Before I can't put it into this plate, I thought that screwing it into the bottom there will give it slightly more support. 
Dell sent a longer screw with the battery to go into the middle hole where it connects through the heat sink because the factory fitted screw would be too short to go through the battery and the heat sink otherwise. So I used the longer silver screw in the middle here. Replace the cable from the battery to the main board and replace the base. I'm going to leave it there for today's video because the battery life test with the new battery installed is still ongoing. At the time of recording this, the new battery has lasted 4 hours and 20 minutes of YouTube playback, which means that it has already beaten the old battery which lasted 3 hours and 45 minutes. I'll leave you with some footage of the old battery's last few seconds before the laptop shut down. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I must admit that it was a bit of an ordeal to make. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like, leave a comment, and consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on the before and after results coming soon. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.